So hopefully you have created a new Android Studio project. If you haven't, then go up to File, New, New Project, name your application here and your company domain, click Next and leave the uh, minimum API level at 15, Next, uh, Empty Activity, Next and just hit finish and you should hopefully create a new Android Studio project. Now we're going to be starting off with relative layout and we are going to be building this app right here. So I just finished reading The Great Gatsby and I was like, well, it would be a great idea to make an app out of it just for demonstration purposes. So we're going to be building this app and let's get started. Uh, we're going to be starting off with relative layout and just in case if you guys are wondering where I got that image from, uh, go up to Google and type in Dr. TJ Eckelberg if you didn't read The Great Gatsby or if you don't know about this novel. So you click on the second image and right click and click click on save image as and save it to your desktop maybe name it a little bit shorter and hit save and then go back to Android Studio and you should see something like this so click on this drop down menu it's okay if you guys don't know about these folders we'll talk about these in the upcoming videos soon go down to drawable you right click on the drawable folder and select show in explorer which will bring up the location of this file on your computer and you should hopefully see something like this and then minimize Android Studio and just drag and drop your saved image to the drawable folder. I've already done it so I'm gonna minimize it and go back to Android Studio and we're gonna start off with an image view. We're going to set the width and height to be wrap content. And now uh, in order to bring that image onto your app, you use the following attribute, Android colon source. And for the value, you put in the at symbol, drawable, forward slash, and the name of the image and it should hopefully bring in the image and now we're going to align this image to the top uh, of the app so we're going to use another attribute called android colon scale type and use fit start now this will move the image to the top left hand corner of the screen and then we're going to create a text view with the width and the height of wrap content and the text of great gatsby so by default, it's going to be located at the top left hand corner of the screen and I'm going to change the text color to be yellow. Uh, we're going to make the text size to be 33 SP. Since DP stands for density independent pixels, SP stands for scale independent pixels. We uh, well use SP because um, if the user wants to change the font size, then you use the SP instead of DP. I will talk more about it in the upcoming videos. But for now, we're just going to leave it at 33 SP and we're going to make it center horizontal to the parent. So it's going to have a true, it's going to have the value of true. And then we're going to have a linear layout. We're, we're actually going to have two linear layouts with is wrap content. Height is also wrap content. And the orientation is going to be horizontal, of course. Okay, and before we use the linear layout, we need to use another text view. So I'm just going to copy this XML code of the first text view and paste it below it. Okay, I'm going to set the layout width and height to be wrap content. And I'm going to set text to be select the character to play. For this text view, I'm going to set the width and the height to be wrap content. And the text to be select the character to play. The text color to be black. And I have the text size set to 33 scale independent pixel. And I have this attribute called layout center vertical, which is going to put the text view below the image view because the image view is taking up the entire screen. Now in the linear layout, I'm going to have a lot of buttons uh, set the width and the height to be wrap content. And I'm going to copy and paste these buttons. Let's see four times and four times. And I'm going to copy and paste this linear layout one more time here. Now the first linear layout is going to be below the select the character to play text. So I have to assign an ID for that 
text for you. Uh, it's going to be below the text, as you can see here. And then um, this, the second linear layout in turn, is going to be below the first linear layout. So I have to assign an ID for the first linear layout. Okay, I'm just going to call it first. So the second linear layout is going to be below the first one. And now it's time to assign text to these buttons. So text. So you have Gatsby, Daisy, Wilson, and Tom. And then the buttons at the bottom are going to be Nick, Jordan, Wolfsheim, and Myrtle. And then there's a button at the very bottom, which says play. So I'm going to add a button outside the linear layout. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste code from the previous buttons. And I'm just going to change the text to simply play. Now this is going to be aligned horizontally. It's going to be aligned at the bottom. So align parent bottom is going to be true. That there was some space in between the text and the first set of buttons. And then there's uh, space in between these two sets of buttons. And then there's some space to the left side of these two rows of buttons. So in order to make that space, you have something called padding and margin in Android. There's already an article over at Androidify to explain padding and margin, but to put it simply for now, I'm just going to say that they're used to create space so you could make the text a little easier to read. If you want more information on padding and margin, there's already an article over at androidify.com. Be sure to check it out. So for this text view, I'm going to add margin left. And it's going to be a number, so I'm going to say 10 dips. And then for this linear layout, or you could do the button, I'm going to set the margin left to be 10 dips as well. I'm going to go down to the second linear layout. What you can do is you can align the left side. So instead of using layout margin left to create space uh, in between the left edge of the screen and this linear layout, what you can use is layout align left attribute, which we learned in this video. Now layout align left is going to make sure that the left edge of this linear layout matches with the left edge of the first linear layout. And so as you can see here, how their left edges are the same. And we're going to add margin bottom here of 10 dips. We have our great Gatsby app. And we applied what we learned today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and be sure to follow the Rin article over at androidify.com. Also, make sure to follow me on social media linked down in the description and please subscribe to my channel for more content. Last but not the least, I'm Gurinder Singh from Androidify and I'm committed to helping you guys along the way.